We'll guide you through how to get and install the Keystrokes mod in Minecraft. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, let's quit Minecraft. Now, all you need to do is open up a web browser, just like so. And just before we get any further, a big shout out to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to Minecraft server host, and they've got so many awesome features, like one-click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support so you can get help anytime you need it, a powerful panel and many other things as well. And at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice. So if you're interested in getting yourself a Minecraft server, I'll go and put links down below in the description and the pinned comment and you can go and get one. A big thanks to Apex for sponsoring this video, but to continue with the guide, now what you want to do is type in Minecraft keystrokes mod, just like so. And then what you want to do is go to this site here, SK1ER, this is the creator. And then all you want to do is come and scroll down to download. Go and choose the version you want. In this case, I'll get it for 1.12.2. So I'll click there and it will then go and download. It says here, this mod requires Essential to work. So let's come to the Essential site. It's actually linked here. You can come over to the right and go and click on download like so and scroll down and go into installers and click on windows like so. It will then go and download the installer. Now what we can need to do is open up your file explorer, come over to the left into downloads and go and find essential and you need to go and double click on it like so. You go and get a Windows Cootie pop-up which you need to go and agree to and it should then open up. Now let's go and select create new profile and press on the arrow in the bottom right. And now we can go and give it a name so you can name what you want or just leave it as it is. For the launcher, make sure Minecraft is selected. And then for the loader, you want to go and select Forge. And for the version, you want to go and scroll down and make sure you get the same version as you got the Keystrokes mod for. For me, that was 1.12.2, like so. And what we can do is go to the bottom right and go and click on Create. Now it's going to go and download and install everything. As you can see, it now has. And now all you want to do is go and click on Launch and the Minecraft launcher should now go and open up. Once it loads, you're going to go and notice you've got a new profile, which is essential. As you can see, here it is. And then all you need to do is go to the top and click on installations and go over to the right. I've got two here as I've actually installed it before. Um, I'll use essential one this time. Come over to the right and click on the folder icon. And this will take you to your Minecraft files and you want to go into the mods folder. And then all we need to do is then add in the keystrokes mod. So let me just go and uh, open up another file explorer here and I can then go and drag it in like so. And you've now installed it. So we can come out of our file explorers and we can come over to the right and click on play or come to play and click on play here. You'll need to understand the risks as you're playing with a modded version of Minecraft, but that should be fine. Press play and wait for Minecraft to load. So here we are in the world. And as you can see in the top left, you can go and see my current keystrokes. And you can also go and edit this as well. All you need to do is type in slash keystrokes like so. And then you can go and turn them completely off. You can choose if you want them to be chroma. Um, yeah, loads of different things you can go and do. So if you guys found this useful and you want to see more guides just like this, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. We've already got a ton of guides on the channel as well, which you can go and check out. And if there's anything more you want to go and see, then please leave a comment below and I'll try my best to go and make it. And if you're in need of a Minecraft server, then go and check out the sponsor, Apex Hosting. There'll be a link down below in the description and the comments. As I said in the intro, they've got so many awesome features. You could even go and play with this Keystrokes mod and add it on there. Or you could go and play the whole mod pack and play with loads of different mods, of course, with your friends. And that server's going to always be online as it's 24-7. You can easily get support. And that's just, you know, there's just so much to do with Apex, which is fantastic. Also, I should have said earlier, but you can also go and add other mods as long as they're for the same version and that there's no compatibility issues. And then you can sort of build your own pack and yeah, add more mods and make the game even more fun.